In this problem, we're told that tectonic plates are going to move at 4 centimeters for every single year. And so what we're going to be doing in this problem is converting that to centimeters per second and then into kilometers per million years. So there's going to be two parts to this. So let's just go ahead and start with the first part, A. So for A, we're going to convert 4 centimeters per year into uh, centimeters per second. So what you should notice is that the centimeters stay the same, but we got to convert from years to seconds. So there's a bunch of conversions you need to know. You need to know that one year is equal to 365 days. You need to know that uh, one day is equal to 24 hours. You need to know that one hour is equal to 60 minutes. And then one minute is equal to 60 seconds. And so these are the conversions we're going to go through. We're going to go from one year to days, days to hours, hours to minutes, minutes to seconds. So this is the conversion we're going to use. So let's just start with the year. So year is on the bottom, so we want to write the year on top. And then one year is equal to 365 days. So that'll cancel the year. Now we have centimeters per days, but we want it in centimeters per second, so we have to go down the list. So one day is going to be 24 hours. Now we have it in hours. One hour is equal to 60 minutes. So that'll cancel the hours. Now we have it in minutes, but we want it in seconds. So one minute is 60 seconds. That'll cancel that. And so now all we have to do is just convert. So 4 divided by 365, then divide by 24, then divide by 60, then divide by 60 again. And so when you go ahead and do this, what you're going to get is that it equals 1.268 times 10 to the minus 7, and then our units are centimeters per second. So centimeters per second. So this is going to be your answer to the first part. So this is how much it moves, or what distance does it move per second? It's going to be, right, so it moves this per second. So it moves this distance every single second. So that's going to be your answer for the first part. Now let's move on to B. So for B, we're going to convert from this into kilometers per million years. So we have four centimeters for every year. And so let's just go ahead. And so in the first one, you notice we didn't have to convert centimeters at all. We just left it. But for this one, we're going to have to convert from, or both of them, into the other units. So we convert centimeters into kilometers and then years into million years. So let's just start with uh, the years. So we know one year is one million years. Or sorry, there are 10. Sorry about that. There's 1 million years for every 1 million, 1 1 million years. So I know it's kind of weird to think about it that way, but essentially for every single 1 year, or for every million years, there's 1 million year. So that'll cancel that out. Now we have centimeters per million years, but we want it in kilometers. So we got to convert from centimeters into kilometers. So you need to know that there's 100 centimeters for every single 1 meter, and then there's 1,000 meters for every 1 kilometer. So first we're going to convert from 70 centimeters to meters and then meters to kilometers. So if you look at this, we have centimeters on top, so we have centimeters on the bottom. 100 centimeters is 1 meter, so that'll cancel that. And then now we need to convert from meters to kilometers. So there's 1,000 meters, so that'll cancel the meters. And so now on top, we're just going to have kilometers per million years. So do 4 times a million. And then divide by 100, and then divide by 1,000. And so when you go ahead and do this, what you're going to get is that it equals 40 kilometers. Kilometers is on top per million years. So per million years. So this is going to be your answer to the second part. So yeah, this is going to be B. This was your answer to A, and yeah. So uh, these are your answers, and hopefully you found this useful.